Joe Biden has forgiven $136 billion in student loan debt for 3.7 million people, almost a billion of that right there in South Carolina. And so uh, we have to decide uh, whether or not we want substance or style. South Carolina's Jim Clyburn on President Biden's apparent lack of style being a factor in his struggles with young African-American voters. Whether it is his style, substance, or something about Biden, it is just not working with black voters, or as many black voters as it used to. His support of black voters have fallen significantly since the 2020 election. 2020, 87 percent of the black vote went to President Biden. Now he's polling at 73. 14 points lost over three years. The loss looks even worse for Democrats when we go back to 2012. Back then, President Obama received 92 percent of the black vote. Mitt Romney, just 2 percent of that. We bring in political consultant Sir Michael Singleton, former D.C. Democratic Party Chairman Scott Bolton. Gentlemen, it is good to see you. Good to be here. Uh, start yeah. with agreement. Okay. You can both agree that this is a problem for Joe Biden. Yeah. We can't agree to that. We can't agree that 14 points I'm down trying here. a year out. 14 <laughs> points down a year out. Obama was 12 to 14 points down in 2012 That's and wound up with 90 percent of the vote. And so we can't agree on that. But what we can agree to is mm -hmm. this snapshot, this snapshot, he is losing black support and black voters. But the question is why? America is not feeling this economy and black people make up a big part of this economy. They're not feeling Biden and have the promises to African-Americans been made and have they been kept? I can think of two that haven't been kept, voting rights mm -hmm. and the George Floyd Criminal uh, Justice Act. Those haven't been um, uh, honored. And that's going to be a real problem so for him style to explain. or substance? I, mean, I think it's substance. I think there's a real disconnect, Leland, between Democratic elites and the average black person. And I think there's a level of hubris that these people have as it pertains to African Americans. Well, we've done enough, therefore you should continue to support Are you us. Are me a Democratic because, elite? Well, I mean, if you fit the bill, yeah, based on your suit, then I'm I'm, I'm going to say the shirt um, and the polka dots match it on the tie. That saying. says something. I don't know. But, but, well, uh, I'm a community activist. Obama was, too. Okay. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> He certainly was. But, but, but I'll just say quickly, Leland, I, I think a lot of black Americans are realizing for many, many years, 90 plus percent support for the Democratic Party. And that isn't, doesn't mean that you'll see a, a huge switchover for Republicans, but it is to say that more black people are being far more critical of the Democratic apparatus than they've ever been. Well, and you've got, and you have Snoop Dogg, okay, talking about how much he likes. I never thought I'd say that on the show. I have nothing but not love and respect for Snoop Donald Dogg, Trump. Yeah, it says something. Okay, but this I think is interesting. <laughs> You now, for the first time, have a real discussion among Republicans about picking an African-American, possibly, as the VP, that being either Ben Carson or Tim Scott. Would that make you, Scott Bolden, worried? Uh, that wouldn't worry me one bit, because I don't think African-Americans vote for African-American candidates simply because of the color of their skin. I vote for people who share my values. And if they happen to be black, so be it. And I encourage my community, whether they're Democrats or Republicans, mm -hmm. you vote your values. Because just voting because of the color of someone's skin doesn't mean you're going to get strong leadership, effective leadership, or get policies and legislation passed that are going to improve the quality of life for African Americans in our community. I thought what Scott said at the beginning was interesting, mm -hmm. right? Because he said, Barack Obama was also 14 points down. I yeah. got to go yeah. back and check the math about it, whether it was a year <laughs> out. But let's just assume that's sure. true. Sure. That means there is an opportunity for Republicans. How there's do they capitalize? I mean, there, there's okay. always there's an opportunity. Always. But how, 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 never... we, a common theme on this show is Republicans never miss an opportunity to screw it up, okay, <laughs> which, which tends I mean, to look, be I, I think, Leland, I, I don't think that there is any opportunity with black women in particular. But I do think that there is an opportunity with black men to potentially uh, increase the support at least a percent or two. Uh, I think that's mathematically feasible when you look at certain uh, swing states, particularly with a message surrounded around economic opportunity uh, and prosperity. But it needs to be a message followed behind. Here are some real concrete policy positions that if we were to win, uh, we're going to focus on trying to actualize these things so that you can see a real benefit. The problem is we haven't really done that. Uh, we, we haven't really addressed the fact that there are more women, generally speaking, getting college degrees than men, more black women mm -hmm. than black men. So, so how do you meet the, that gap in terms of yeah. skills and ability the to, to, to aren't much, operate in the workforce? But the Democrats, and we've talked about this, aren't much better. Yeah, they, they presume that black folks 
folks are going to vote for him, and they're going to get a large percentage. At the same time, when you talk about black men vote, an organization that I'm active with, and other organizations, they say the Democratic Party doesn't focus on black men. Give me the top three reasons why the Democrat, why an African American male, male in urban America should vote for the Democrats. I can give you depth and substance on that, right? But if they're not feeling it and they don't feel like they're being paid attention. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.